everyone starting today's vlog with a bit of a car vlog this morning because I have been up since 5 a.m. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been at the club having a really early morning gym session and I'm feeling really, really good for it. I normally do like getting up this early because it means I can like really make the most of my day, get my gym session in early and get cracking with my day. Although this time of year, I feel like it's probably not as needed as much because it really does feel like we are officially on the wind down. Like, I love this time of year, the kind of week before Christmas when all the offices start closing, people start taking their holidays, everyone's kind of like basically winding down for Christmas, things are starting to get a little bit quieter and you just feel like you're in like full Christmas prep mode. I really do love this time of year, but I didn't mind getting up too early this morning and it also means that I'm able to see the sunrise and we have a beautiful sunrise this morning. I wish I could show you it, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise and I always love being able to see the sunrise in the morning and it's been a lovely morning so far although my goodness me my shoulders are really feeling after this morning session we did like a bit of an upper body session this morning and that's definitely my weakest point whenever it comes to like gym workouts i love cardio i love doing legs anything upper body i really really struggle with so my shoulders right now i feel like i can't lift them above here they are so so achy but i really want to get like my upper body a little bit fitter and just like get used to doing that within my workout so that i'm just like a little bit stronger in that point and I just always feel a lot more confident whenever I've been doing a little bit more like upper body. So yeah, feeling good for the gym session. I'm feeling ready for the rest of my day. I've got my gym back here, actually. This is such a great present. If you're looking for some like last minute gift ideas, this would be such a great gift. This is a Katie Loxton bag. And I don't think it's necessarily meant to be a gym bag, but I always use this as my gym bag and I absolutely love it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it does actually have my name, not my name, my initials monogrammed into it. And although it might be a bit too late to order any kind of like personalized goods, I definitely think you'll still be able to make some Katie Loxton orders. And they do great products on Katie Loxton. And like I love their weekend bags I love their gym bags I love their um like little bridal goodies if you know anyone getting married in 2024 I feel like that would be so lovely to get them the little like bride pouch if you know someone that's like 2024 bride I think that would be so so sweet I'm definitely in like last minute gift mode um kind of like mindset thinking about what other gifts that I need to start giving I do need to start wrapping today as well because I haven't actually started wrapping and I always feel like that's a great way to like take stock of the presents that you have and any presents that you still need to buy um in my gym bag though I always have a couple of essentials number one my makeup bag because I personally like getting ready at the gym i don't like having to like come home and then sharing then do all of that like i'd rather just do it there um so i love these elizabeth scarlet bags elizabeth scarlet is another brand i think is a great one to check out they stock them at a few different places i know they stock them at fortnum mason they stock them i believe at potentially harrods if not liberty but i will see where they stock them and link them down below because elizabeth scarlet is one of those brands that i just absolutely adore and i feel like any lady in your life would love their pieces they do like makeup bags they do eye masks they do tote bags they do so so much and i absolutely adore their products i actually got lady c a matching bag to this makeup bag so i got the makeup bag and then i gave her like the big tote bag and she uses it every day she goes to work she absolutely adores it because it's so big like you can fit your laptop in you can fit your water water bottle in your flask like anything that you need um and they have so many gorgeous designs i love the bee print but they do also have so many other beautiful prints like animal designed like i have this really gorgeous one that's like a sun like an orangey color with the sun i absolutely love them and then i also always have my jewelry box i was about to call it my makeup box nope my jewelry box my monica vinader jewelry box which i absolutely love because i just like to put a little bit of jewelry on um after i've been to the gym as i said whenever i'm getting ready i don't really need anything too like fancy so i'm in a bit of a gold mood today i've got gold necklace gold earrings i love these monica vinader earrings i'll leave these linked down below as well these would be a gorgeous gorgeous gift to receive under the tree and then i've just got a little gold chain bracelet from pandora on um but a jewelry box i think is another great one to give especially like a travel jewelry box if you know someone that goes away for work that goes to the gym that needs to like get ready somewhere else this is so so handy to not have to like put it in a pouch get everything tangled up together like this is an absolute game changer so i take this in my gym bag i'll take this with me if i'm going away like when i went to edinburgh i obviously took this with me when i went to cheltenham i obviously took this with me it really is a game changer so definitely in like last minute gift giving mindset thinking about like what other gifts i need to be doing and what are like great gifts that you can pick up if you have left it a little bit late with regards to your present buying but i'm gonna get inside because i'm getting rather chilly sitting here in the car but it's been such a lovely morning and it's always just my favorite thing driving home from the club and being able to watch the sunrise it never quite comes up on camera as beautiful as it is in real life but look at that sky 
oh my goodness, there's nothing I love more than just seeing the sunrise in the morning in such a beautiful way. You can only just about see it, but wow. What a beautiful, beautiful sunrise we've had this morning. So I have just made myself my morning cup of coffee and I thought we could get comfy and do a little bit of present wrapping. So I have brought down from upstairs my box of presents. I'm gonna be careful not to show you too many people's presents in case anyone is watching, but I literally have a basket full of gifts in here that we can start, oh, start wrapping and putting together. I bought some wrapping paper right at the beginning of it must have been like November, I did like a little trip into HomeSense and I got some like wrapping paper, some ribbons and things like that. So I always like to go for the brown wrapping paper because this is the one that I find is best with regards to recycling. Do remember that if you are picking up wrapping paper, try and check if it is recyclable because anything with like glitter, with a bit of a sheen, with that like waxy material isn't recyclable. And if you put it all in together in the same like bin, it might contaminate it. So I always like to go for the brown paper because I feel like that's like no questions asked we know that that is a recyclable and look at the theme that i am going for it's got little scotty dogs on it so it's like a red tartan scotty dog print which i absolutely love because i thought that would work really really well and then i also picked up just a second one in case i need it this one which is like again a brown paper but with um like a black pattern it's just got like a little christmas pattern on um and i like doing that because i feel like it works really well with different like ribbons and bows and things like that i'm not ashamed to admit i'm a ribbon repeater this is my box of ribbon that i keep here i just keep it in an old net porte box and i always reuse the ribbon after each like birthday present after each christmas present if i get pr parcels with ribbons inside of them i'll always reuse that like i'm pretty sure i have from last year's joe malone a ribbon from one that they gifted me i can't remember what it was i think it was like the perfume or something so that's literally from last year's joe malone i've got so many ribbons that i used from last year i did pick up a couple of new ones but i'm not gonna lie i would always recommend ribbon repeating number one because obviously it's a lot friendlier on the environment being able to like repeat the ribbon being able to reuse it it's satin so i don't even know if it's like recyclable or anything like that um but i always just think it's nice to be able to reuse it and also i do find that even when you buy ribbon it does not go a long way and they can be quite expensive. Like when I did my home sense trip back in November, I picked up these two and they weren't too expensive. Like this one's four pounds. This one was one pound 29, but this is a three meter velvet ribbon. And I guarantee I'm not gonna be able to wrap more than three presents with this. Like I feel like they just go so quickly, but I really like this one. It's like a little red velvet, which I thought was really, really sweet and would work so well with the Scotty dogs. Um, and then I also thought I would do a bit of silver, not silver, a bit of gold and a bit of green. I love the velvet green on this one. It's like a forest green. I thought that would be so beautiful. And then I do quite like the like shiny gold. I thought that might look quite nice as well. And then I also have my box of ribbons with so many other like colors and textures and themes. This was actually when I got my um, handbag angels. I love these ones. They're really, really long. Look at this. It's huge. So that is a really, really good one to use. I even saved the little ribbons that i got from my um emily m baubles as well like, i honestly just save all of the ribbons that i can because i also think it looks quite nice when under the tree it's all a little bit more eclectic like i like to keep the wrapping paper similar if not kind of themed and then when it comes to like ribbons and like tying everything together and like doing the last minute kind of like flourishes i like it to look a little bit different i also picked up actually um some sticky tabs now normally i use like the old-fashioned kind of like you tie it on i just find them so impractical so i thought these would be really really great to get they are literally name tags and they have things on them saying special delivery from the north pole do not open until december 25th like i thought these were really really cute and then i can just stick them on each present and then i know exactly whose present is whose and it doesn't like ruin the aesthetic or anything like that so there's a few sheets of that there so i thought that would be really really handy as well i think they're all the same on each sheet yeah they're all the same so that is really handy as well so i'm going to spend a little bit of time this morning doing a little bit of present wrapping because i actually have a lunch date with lady c later and we are going to pop into west key in southampton i thought that would be the perfect opportunity to take note of any like last minute gifts that i need to buy and then i'll be able to pick those up today whilst i'm out with her so it's the perfect time to just do a little bit of present wrapping and start taking stock of what i still need to buy
not gonna lie to you, I am absolutely pooped after doing that wrapping. I feel like my best piece of advice when it comes to Christmas wrapping is little and often. This isn't even a quarter of what I need to wrap, but I've at least made headway and I feel like going through the gifts means that I am, have a few more ideas. I think I need a couple more bits for Alex, maybe something for my dad and a couple of other pieces. Um, so that is looking really, really good now. I love how the ribbon looks. I've used all of the velvet ribbon up, which I anticipated, um, but I love how the red velvet looks. I think it's just so effective. I think it's really, really cute. I also have some like satin red ribbon, which I really, really like. And with the Scotty dogs, I think it looks absolutely adorable. I've also added some of the Jo Malone one. I've added some brown ribbon. I've even added some black ribbon as well. I haven't used any of the green yet, but I think I will definitely use that on a few of the other gifts. But I'm not going to lie, it always does look very festive as soon as you start seeing some proper presents under the tree. That's when you know Christmas is near, but I feel really good to have gotten that done. My back is aching now, so I definitely need to take a bit of a break and come back to it on another day. Despite the fact that I've literally only just scratched the surface with regards to my wrapping, it feels really good to have at least gotten it started. I normally don't leave it this late, and I do feel like even with a few gift buying things, I've left it really, really late this year, but it's just been such a busy month that I feel like December has just completely gotten away from me. But feels really good to have gotten that started and I've just come upstairs because I've had an exciting new delivery from a brand that I recently discovered from an event I went to. It was back in November, I went to an event with Logitech and they were doing a bit of a collaboration with Peachy and I love Logitech products. I absolutely adore my little pebble, which is like the little mouse that you have. I always use that when it comes to like editing and things like that. And they did a little collaboration with Peachy, which is a gorgeous nail brand. And they very, very kindly sent me some new goodies, which I feel like is perfect timing because especially between like Christmas Christmas and New Year it's so difficult to get an appointment. It's so difficult to get your nails done. So it's always nice to have a few things. And I'm not someone that ever gets a pedicure done. It's really weird. I love getting a manicure done. I love having my nails like done and like looking pretty. And I always use shellac on them. I never ever get my toes done. I'd much rather do that myself. And I love having a few different nail products that I can kind of like try out and test and see what works. So let's unbox what's in here because I'm very, very excited about this. We have a few new shades that I'm really excited to unbox. I feel like Peachy's nail polish shades are just gorgeous. When I discovered them at the event, I was absolutely obsessed. Oh, actually, okay. Not all of these are products. Two of these are the cuticle oil and the cuticle remover. And actually, it's something I've been really, really trying to do is look after my cuticles a bit better every time I go and get my nails done my nail tech always says to me that I need to use more cuticle oil on my hands because I have very very dry hands and I use a lot of like moisturizers a lot of hand creams but sometimes you need to like properly look into the exact ingredients that are going to just really look after your nails so cuticle oil is a great one especially if you get regular manicures you get regular nails done. like if you get gels or anything like that cuticle oil is a must we also have a cuticle remover, which I have never seen in like a bottle. Ooh, that is so interesting. So if you don't want to go for like a full manicure, maybe you just want to do like a remove and reapply. That is really, really interesting. If you want to have like a girl's night, this is basically the perfect package for like girl's night. Now I'm assuming these are the shades. So ha let's have a look. This is the shade Fizz, which I like the sound of. Ooh, oh my gosh, we have some sparkle. I might have to put that on my toes because that is so, so cute. It's like a beautiful gold sparkly color. Can we just appreciate the packaging of the peachy as well? I feel like this would be such a lovely gift if you know someone that, that loves looking after the nails. They love doing like pamper and girls nights, things like that. And then this is a two in one base, which is amazing. So I've got that as well which is absolutely perfect so i'm obsessed with this gold shimmery color i feel like that's gonna look so so nice on my toes i don't normally really get my feet out at christmas but just in case i want a pair of wear a pair of like strappy heels or something like that i feel like that would be so so lovely to put on my toes we then also have my goodness me a peach money penny scrub oh my goodness vegan and cruelty free that is so exciting. Okay, this is literally like the epitome. I wish I'd had this yesterday when I had my pamper evening because this would have been so, so fab to use. I'd never used like a foot scrub like this before, but I am someone that has really, really dry feet and I do use foot cream a lot. So I think it'll be really handy to try out this foot scrub and give myself like a proper pamper. I'm assuming you can also, yeah, it's a mani pedi scrub, so you can use this on your hands as well. So if you feel like, oh, do you know what this would be great for? You know, when you apply a bit of um, like tinted moisturizer, not tinted moisturizer, 
like a fake tan or like a tanning oil or something like that, like oil drops. And you know when you get it in between your fingers, proper scrub on your hands afterwards, that will stop you from getting that orange line on your fingers. We then have, oh, another color, Jane's Jewels. Let's have a look at this one. I have no idea what that color is gonna be. <gasps> that is beautiful. Oh my goodness me, stop. It's got like gold flecks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Look at that. That is the most beautiful pinky tone I think I have ever, ever seen with literal gold flecks running through it. Oh my word, that is stunning. <gasps> Absolutely stunning. Oh, I might have to use this on my toes tonight. That is so, so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. We then have the little tools that we need, which I always love these tools. This is amazing. I've never actually seen like a scrubber like this. That is so, so cool. And then we've obviously got the little cuticle pusher backer, which yes, is the um, the technical term for it. It's the industry term. Um, and then lastly, we have the vanilla Mani Pedi mask, vegan and cruelty free. Oh, that's so lovely as well. The ultimate luxury for your hands, arms and legs and feet. Vitamin E and B rehydrate skin, whilst sheer butter helps nourish for longer. Oh my goodness, I mean, that sounds absolutely amazing. I'm gonna keep that beside my bed. And I'm the kind of person that every time I get into bed, I like to moisturize my feet. So that sounds like the perfect product that I'll be able to give myself a real good moisturization, get on my hands, and get nice and cozy and into bed. So the loveliest goodie delivery from Peachy. And how gorgeous is this makeup bag as well? So I'll leave them linked down below if you're looking for some last minute gifts. If you know someone that is a bit of like a money petty lover, loves a pamper, loves a girl's night, I feel like Peachy will be a great, great brand to check out. And I'm so, so grateful for this lovely delivery. Right, so I am wrapped up warm. I'm ready to do some last minute Christmas shopping. I've just put on my Holland Cooper cape and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm actually shocked at how much wear I've gotten out of this cape. I know when I first unboxed it, I was like, I'm gonna wear this so much and I was so excited by it, but I actually am wearing it even more than I thought I would. This has just been the best luxury purchase, the best coat purchase I have made this winter. And that's another brand that actually, as I'm talking about it, is a great one to check out for any last minute gifting. Holland Cooper, their knits, their accessories, they even do like candles, footwear, bags, coats. I just absolutely love them. I'll leave a link to Holland Cooper down below to have a little look at what you can pick up in time for Christmas. If you know someone that does love a little bit of luxury, they love their capes, they love their coats, I would definitely recommend this coat, Kate, because my goodness me, I've worn it so, so much. It's so easy to fling on as well. It's super comfortable it's super nice and toasty and the little faux fur collar is my absolute fave but I'm heading out now ready to do some last minute christmas shopping with lady C. of course first port of call is coffee so we've come to our new favorite spot which only opened about a month ago in west Key. it's like right in the middle of the kind of like central part of west Key. there's metrics there's a few little metrics coffee shops around like southampton and the hampshire area and they are so cute i think they're just local i don't think they're a big chain but they do the best coffee and oh my god the cakes are absolutely delicious so of course first things first before we do any shopping we need a coffee <laughs> We have treated ourselves to, we have a gingerbread latte slice and a red velvet slice. How amazing do these look? And a lovely fest of coffee to top it up. I know I'm supposed to be doing Christmas shopping for other people, but how stunning are these Jimmy Chews that have popped into flannels and oh my goodness, look at the sparkle on these. Now that is Christmas shoe if ever I've seen one. You know Alex, you know he loves his flannel shirts, but I don't know if anyone else's partner is really specific about this. It can't have two pockets. I could get him this because it really upsets him when it has two pockets. Apparently it looks too booby. <laughs> it has to just have the one. It's a shame because it's such a cute little off-white shirt. safe to say that that was a rather successful trip. The one person I didn't manage to pick anything up for is Alex and I think I have an idea of what else I want to get him but I think it's one of those things that I'm gonna have to order online. Hopefully I'll be able to 
get it delivered before Christmas. So I don't want to say it just in case I can't get it ordered, but I should be able to pick that up for him as a bit of a last minute gift. But I did get a few other bits, despite the fact that it was heaving in West Key. Oh my goodness me. Where we actually queued up for metrics normally on a weekday, it's really quiet there and you can like easily get a coffee, sit down within five minutes. We queued for like a good 10, 15 minutes for that coffee. Every single store we went into was like a massive long queue to get to the checkout. You can tell it is the last week before Christmas because everyone's getting in at their last minute shopping. So I hope you have finished your shopping by now. Comment down below if you still have any shopping to do or if you have finished. If you haven't finished, I have a couple of ideas. I'll show you what I picked up actually because I feel like these are some good ideas of what to pick up for Christmas. First of all, it's for G. I know she doesn't watch these videos so this is okay to talk about but an electric toothbrush and I feel like it's one of those gifts that's like it might seem a bit boring but trust me it would save your life like literally both at Lady C and I have both picked up G quite boring presents I have picked her up a toothbrush and Lady C has picked her up the Lumi Light because I feel like they're both things that until you have one you don't realize how much it like changes your life and what a difference it makes so this would be a great last minute gift I know lots of places stock or will be I know Boots do, Superdrug does. I'm pretty sure you can also buy this on Amazon. So what I'll do is I'll leave a few like alternative links down below of where you can pick up the Oral-B. Now this is the IO6. There's lots of different IOs that you can pick up. I used to be an ambassador for Oral-B, but I don't longer work with them. Don't longer? No longer work with them, but still use their toothbrush every single day. And I only use their toothpaste now as well. I absolutely adore Oral-B toothpaste. I feel like it's so great for like sensitive teeth and a little bit of teeth whitening. And if you have sensitivities, this is the best one to pick up. So this is the sensitive edition. And it's in the most beautiful like pink packaging. I love the design of this. It almost matches my nails. How cute is that? It would actually match the peachy nail polish perfectly. And um, what I love about this is number one, it tells you when you're brushing too hard. So it's got a green light and a red light. And as you're brushing, it will either come up green or it will come up red. And it means that you know if you're brushing too hard. And I learned so quickly that I'm a really hard brusher. It's actually really bad like bad and damaging on your gums if you're brushing too hard. Um, and it can actually mean that you have to like replace your heads more often. Um, so this is really great when it comes with the obviously rechargeable toothbrush. It has the refillable brush heads. It also has a travel case, which has been such a game changer for me. Because obviously when you're traveling, I've always thought about like how dirty it is if you like chuck your toothbrush into like your makeup bag or something that is not very clean and then it also has the charger which is really really handy um so kind of like oh i just hit myself in the face there <laughs> Oh my goodness, but yes, it has on the back a little bit more information about like the toothbrush and stuff and it's got the five different smart modes. You've got sensitive, super sensitive, daily clean, gum care and tongue clean. To tell you the honest truth, I literally just used daily care, but it's really good if you have like a bit of sensitivity. Like if you wear retainers a lot, if you forget to wear them for a while and then you put them back in, your teeth can be quite sensitive. If you've like maybe eaten something that's made them a bit sensitive. I've actually heard that pregnancy makes your teeth go quite sensitive. So it's nice to have like the different options. The fact that you've got the gum care there and the tongue clean as well is just a game changer so i picked her up the pink io and then i also picked her up a little bit more fun a little joe malone gift now i'm sure she won't mind me opening this up and it's showing this to you because i just think this is so so cute so they're doing this little cracker for christmas and you know how much i'm adoring joe malone at the moment i just absolutely adore their ginger biscuit perfume it is my favorite apparently it's been a sellout this year which i'm not surprised at i'm really mad at myself that i didn't pick up the candle whilst it was still in stock because i love the perfume and i think the candle would have just been chef's kiss absolute chef's kiss but i picked this up for g because i thought this would be really really cute first of all love the fact that it's in a cracker i almost don't want to wrap this because it's just so cute but inside here we have the wood sage and sea soap cologne the English Pet and Freesia Body and Hand Wash and the Lime, Basil and Mandarin Hand Cream. So three absolute faves. I'm going to show you the size of them as well because they're actually really good sizes. And then I'll just make sure to wrap this back up and put it back together um, for Christmas. I love the inside as well. It's so, so beautiful. I just love the fact that you get like the perfect little travel size. Now I love these for when it comes to handbag sizes. I find the ones that are like double this size a little bit too heavy to keep in my bag. So I feel like these are like gold dust for me. I absolutely love them. And I love Wood Sage and Sea Salt. She absolutely adores that fragrance as well. We then have, I'm gonna have to wrap these back up so carefully to put them back together. But the body wash, how cute is that? Again, perfect for traveling. G travels a lot for work, so that would be fab for her. And then another perfect size for a handbag. So I do feel like some sizes that do hand creams are huge. 
lime basil and mandarin hand cream which i absolutely adore the scent of as well so three really cute little goodies to get in there so i thought that would be some really lovely gifts for g i then picked up some slippers for my dad which i feel like is a great gift to give a man which are from sketches and i really like these because they have like a proper sole on them so i thought these are like proper dad slippers so i got them met for my pops so perfect perfect last minute christmas gifts to pick up as i said the only person i've got left now is alex i also picked up whilst i was out a top up of baileys i feel like this time of year you just can't not have an open bottle of baileys in your cupboard and alex literally said to me the other day we we're having hot chocolates and we'd run out of baileys and he was like i just can't have a hot chocolate without baileys in it anymore like i just feel like it's so different when you've got a Baileys inside of it. And I might actually do our special hot chocolates for tonight. I think we're just gonna have like a nice chill one, a bit of a movie night tonight. And we've been doing something a little bit different with our hot chocolates, which I might have to show you later, but also picked that up whilst I was in West Key as well. So as I said, all in all, a very successful trip. Some last minute gifts. I've literally just got one person left to pick a few things up for. Then as Alex, and I always feel like your partner is like, the hardest person to shop for so as i said i've still got a few other bits for him but hopefully fingers crossed i'll be able to pick up one more last minute gift and then that will be it ready in time for christmas now i know i've spoken about my looming light before um but it just occurred to me as i mentioned it then that there has been a lot of new subscribers that might not know what i'm talking about now i know there's a couple of different brands of these wake up alarms it always does this when i try and talk to you how weird is that that number just disappears you literally saw that before your eyes that is so weird i don't understand how it does that on the camera because obviously all the numbers are there for me they just seem to disappear it's so weird so let's just ignore that let me kind of turn it over a little bit um but basically this is a wake up alarm and it's the most clever thing in the world because you set it and then you can change the settings you can change whatever you want to do with regards to how early you want it to come on like what time you have it set so we currently have it set for 5 at 25 at the moment and then it means just before five o'clock it starts to come on so obviously it wouldn't normally have to press this button but basically it starts lighting up like this ever so slowly and then it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and it literally mimics sunlight like daylight it mimics a sunrise and it is so so clever so if you know someone that maybe works shifts they struggle to get up in the morning like it's one of those presents that i feel like comes across as really boring but actually is such a game changer and we have literally given these to so many members in our family both lady c and i i converted lady c onto this and she's now converted at many other family members like her sisters other friends that we know honestly it's one of those things where once you get one you can't go back and if i go and stay somewhere a hotel or something i always miss my lumi light most out of any of my home comfort so this really is an absolute game changer and i feel like would be another great last minute gift idea for someone so i'll leave a few of them linked down below this is like the old model so this exact one won't be available but the new model is pretty much identical to be perfectly honest it's really really similar it probably just has a few more like gadgets and gizmos to it um but it really is a game changing item and i feel like would be such a good gift to receive at christmas please tell me i'm not the only one who does this whenever i want to get all really cozy and really snugly i'll steal alex's dressing gown i don't know what it is about his dressing gown but it just hits different to mine i feel like it's the oversizedness the bagginess the fact that it's actually not mine that kind of thrill that you get from stealing their clothes it just can't be topped i honestly couldn't even tell you where this is from i think it's just an m s one but oh my goodness is it so so cozy i mean look how much i have to like roll up the sleeves in order to actually make it fit but it is my favorite thing to put on especially if he's not here he's actually been out for the evening he was out for dinner with friends and he should be home any minute now so i thought i would treat us and have a hot chocolate waiting for him when he walks through the door because especially when you've been out and it's been like cold and you're like just feeling a little bit like I don't know about you, but whenever I've been outside for a while, I feel cold to like the bone. And the only thing that can heat me up is either a bath or a hot drink. So a festive hot chocolate is on the cards. So as you know, I'll do it in my Nespresso milk frother, which actually this is another great last minute gift idea. I feel like some of the best presents that I've ever bought have often been last minute buys. Things that like people have suggested that maybe aren't like the norm. Like I know it's so easy to be like, oh, a candle would be great. Or some like makeup would be great. But actually I feel like things like this are the things that I use a lot more and actually 
make better presents in my opinion so the nespresso milk frother is an amazing amazing gift to pick up i don't think just nespresso do these i think a lot of different brands do them the best way to describe it it's basically the hotel chocolate velvetizer at a quarter of the price like it does the exact same thing it literally froths milk like that's all it does it does exactly what it says on the tin but we have recently upgraded our hot chocolates so i thought i would show you what we do because oh my goodness me they are chef's kiss they're absolutely impeccable it's not just a drink anymore it's like a dessert in a drink so obviously we need to add the baileys in which only works if you're having an evening at home because obviously a shot of baileys um is irish cream if you don't know i see most countries have baileys um they do lots of different flavors of this i would really like to pick up the mint one but i've never found it i always every time and i've been watching gavin and stacy recently which to me is such a like this time of year program i feel like there are certain programs that like i get in the mood for for different times of year despite the fact that there's like summer specials in gavin and stacy like when there's a heat wave and they all go to the beach i think it's mainly because the two christmas specials it just feels so festive to me that every single december alex and i will re-watch gavin and stacy through so let me know what program you watch again and again at christmas time like it might not necessarily be a christmas series or a christmas program something like harry potter which again is one of those that i feel like everyone re-watches at this time of year despite the fact that there's only like short snippets of christmas in each film i don't even think there's one in every single film it's maybe only a couple of them but that's just such a like christmas watch so comment down below what your favorite thing to watch is at this time of year um but yes massive tangent baileys added to the hot chocolate makes such a difference we then add some giant marshmallows and specifically giant ones because the way that these melt down into the hot chocolate it's an absolute game changer honestly these are incredible now these were actually picked up for me when my little brother went to amsterdam recently and um, so i don't think you can get them around like europe they're literally just a massive box of chocolate sprinkles you're supposed to eat them on toast personally have never eaten hot chocolate or chocolate sprinkles on toast not really my cup of tea, but they are perfect to put in baking, to add to hot chocolates, and it's really great with such a big box. So any kind of like chocolate sprinkle that you can pick up is all that you need. In terms of the hot chocolate, I feel like the Cadbury's hot chocolates just hit differently for me. And then the last thing that I feel like is actually really important when it comes to the perfect hot chocolate is your mug. And I love this mug because this is such a like wrap your hands around it, get warm, get cozy kind of a mug. This is actually from Anthropology, and I'm pretty sure it's still available online. So I will leave it linked down below. This was actually bought for me quite a few years ago from Alex's bone and sister in law, which is really, really kind of them. And I still use it to this day. And I definitely think this makes it the best hot chocolate. This is like the best mug to give someone when you just want to curl up and get cozy and just like get snuggly. So I feel like the mug makes all the difference as well. And then just top it up with milk i'm a milk hot chocolate girl definitely not a water hot chocolate girl i don't even know if water would work in this but any milk what does work like it doesn't have to be cow's milk i personally just drink cow's milk but almond milk oat milk what other milks are there all the kinds of milks would work in this so i am going to get making myself a lovely festive hot chocolate the perfect ending to today to make me feel really cozy and really snuggly so as i said i'm going to do one for alex as well as a little treat when he comes home and don't even try and tell me that that is not the best hot chocolate I mean at home hot chocolate you have ever ever seen the only thing that I feel like would just make this even better is with some whipped cream which we don't actually have but that might be something to pick up before Christmas just in case any of our guests maybe want to do a hot chocolate Bailey's hot chocolate with marshmallow and whipped cream I think that would be the only thing that could top this right now I can't even tell you how good it smells so I just made one for myself now but I'm going to do the second one for Alex and then we can get cozy and watch a film and on the cards to watch it this evening i'm not gonna lie i've been so excited to watch this film it's a new film that's just come out on amazon prime your christmas or mine too 
And I'm pretty sure the original one only came out like last year. Like they have literally turned around the sequel so, so quickly. I don't know how they have done it, but if you've not seen it, I would definitely recommend watching the first one first because it's a really, really funny film. The premise is it's two uni students who are like going home for Christmas. They've been like dating all of university. Like I don't know whether it's been a year, whether they're freshers or what, but they've basically been dating for a little while now and they are going home for Christmas and they come from two very, very different worlds. She is from this like working class northern family and he is um let's just say not very southern very posh um and they basically decide last minute that they want to spend christmas with each other but they both make that decision at the same time so he ends up spending christmas with her family and she ends up spending christmas with his family and the dynamics are just hilarious not that they have like any of the same similarities not that they like represent each other but her family's northern and honestly it's the funniest thing watching it with alex because he's like yeah big up my northerners um and he just finds it absolutely hilarious because he is a northern boy at heart um although saying that i feel like his accent has been really starting to fade ever since we moved down south i feel like his accent is slowly and slowly becoming a bit more neutral but i would love to know if you notice his accent because he finds it really interesting because some people are like no, no no you have a very northern accent and other people are like you do not sound northern at all i feel like when he goes up north everyone says that he doesn't sound northern whereas when he comes down south everyone's like no 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 you sound northern so i would love to know if you've noticed his accent i feel like there's so many things i've asked you to comment down below so let's just make a thread of everything that i've asked you to comment because i love it guys reply to me and i love hearing like your answers to my questions so let me know if you've ever like noticed alex's accent and if you even realized it was like a northern yorkshire accent before but um yeah got myself a northern boy just like in the film but your christmas or mine too has just come out from the looks of things they go skiing which is gonna make us so nostalgic i'm hoping it's not a ski resort we've been to because otherwise we'll be watching it like oh my gosh like, I love it when you see something like, like somewhere you've been to on a film. Um, so I'm hoping it's not going to be a resort we've been to. Otherwise, we're going to be literally watching it with such, like, nostalgia. and going to be gutted because we aren't going skiing next year. For a very good reason, which I can't tell you just yet. But, yeah, we're not going to be going skiing next year. So we're just going to live vicariously through this film. So I'm going to make Alex his hot chocolate. Cozy on down and stick on your Christmas or mine too hopefully it's gonna be a really good watch there's nothing i love more than just a cheesy trashy christmas rom-com i feel like nothing beats it so i am going to leave this vlog here i feel like i've been very hit or miss with finishing vlogs and ending vlogs so i'm gonna leave this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed vlogmas day what are we now 18 19 on the home stretch we are on the home stretch this last week before december it just always goes so quickly and it's always one of my favorite favorite weeks of like winding down getting cozy and just taking things a little bit slower so i really hope you guys enjoy today's vlogmas i will see you tomorrow i hope you have the loveliest evening good night mm -hmm.